women They say some crazy ass things I will And I do You can keep this damn old ring Over time The words lose their sting Until I die Love just won't taste the same Kids grew up. I saw sides with my eyes. Most people don't see from time to time. I would hold that dream Think about Sights I wish I'd seen There's only one trip down the line If I could just go back in time I'd make up for everything We all hold rings I was broke Now if you're wondering why on the I end of this stroke now. my hand comes off the plane completely Now right about here I'm still pushing down but as I approach the end of this board I lift up on it and the reason being if I keep that downward pressure as I approach the end going to round off this edge here and it's going to be straight so uh, when you get close to the end I mean, some people leave their hands on there but I like to completely remove it that way I am I'm sure I know that I'm getting the pressure off of it and I'm not going to round over this edge I watched uh, I got a bunch of uh, videos and books by Peter Follinsby and uh, that's one thing I picked up on him when he uses his jointer plane or even when he uses his, uh, he's got a large jack plane that he made. It's pretty much a jointer plane though. But uh, as he approached the end of the board, he would just raise that hand up. And, uh, Chris Schwartz, another big popular hand tool guy, he says to act like when you're doing the edging, uh, edging the boards rather, you want to pretend like you're trying to scoop out the middle of it by putting that pressure. But, uh, you always want to relieve it at the end, so that's a good way to teach yourself to uh, stop that downward pressure. And it, uh, it really gives you some good form as you rock back and forth when you're hand playing.
Thank you.